Yo, what's up everyone? It's Mark Graham to Detail, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to remove clear bra. So behind me we have a 2015 RAV4. It looks like it was clear bra probably right in the get-go. The clear bra is turning a little yellow and the adhesive is really weak behind it. So I'm gonna show you guys the proper way to remove clear bra. The tools we're gonna be using is a steamer and probably like a little plastic tool just to pry the clear bra up on the corners, which would make it a lot easier. Also show you the techniques, how to remove clear bra. When you're removing clear bra, make sure you got a steamer. You can use a heat gun. I don't prefer heat guns and you gotta be careful with that stuff. So when you're doing with steamer, you're gonna be pulling the material away from where the material is lifting. That puts a lot less tension on the paint and you're not gonna be likely to rip the paint off doing that technique. So you guys can see the technique when I zoom you guys in. Also on this um, clear bra we have behind us, has a lot of damage to it. It took a beating and we're gonna find out if it protected the paint. I hope it did. But yeah, let's get to it. I appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe and let's get to the video. Zoom me in pretty good so you guys can see all the damage. So you can see right there, it looks like it hit a cone or hit something, but it goes all the way up on that body line. And right here, you got some chunks missing. Focus camera, you can do it. Oh, there it is. So you can see right there that the crew bra is completely torn up. So. You can look at it. It's already peeling back. So hopefully it protected the paint. We're gonna check it out. Let me also show you guys some other stuff we have here. Bear with me, cause we're doing this shit live on the tripod. Right here, we have another piece totally gone. There's no clear bar in here. This is all lifted up. So we're gonna get that all cleaned up. And let's go to another area. So down here, I'm not sure what happened here. So this could have been a finger that the installer just wanted to cut back and over time it got rigid. I don't know. Right here you can see a bad cut. Looks like they, let me get you guys right there. So right here it looks like they had a bad cut. They ripped it up a little bit. Didn't work out so good. And let's move on. Over here, this is kind of where I started already. I thought it would be a good video to show you guys how to remove clear bra. So that's the only area we pretty much lifted off was right there. Let's go check out the other side, see what we got going on over here. And this stuff's not too bad. I mean, there's still some marks down here, you guys can see. Let you focus on that. So, no, that's not bad, it's just dirt. This is pretty beat up across its body line. You can see all the dirt inside the clear bra edges. So, I think it's time for a new one. These edges are lifting on the back side. And now this is what I want to show you guys. I removed this piece right here. And you guys can see how white that is. And then right here, you can kind of see the color change, right? But yeah, you can see it back here too, because this looks a lot dirtier, but you can see right there is where I rubbed it. So under this dirt, it's gonna look like that. And we're doing a two-step paint correction. So it's gonna be looking good once we're done. Show you guys the partial hood. Let's see if you can see it. Yep, you guys can see the line right there. You gonna focus camera, there it goes. So there's a line across the hood. All right guys, so I hope you get the point. Walked you around the vehicle, let you see all the trouble areas and how we're gonna fix them now. It's gonna be with steam, removing this clear bra, and let's get into the video. So guys, I like to heat up the whole material real quick. Let it all get worked in there with the steam. Let it work out. So, all right guys, so I got my edge up, right? Now I'm gonna be pulling away. So I don't know if you guys could tell. It's pretty simple, but we're gonna be pulling away and just let, let the material do all the work. So just pull away. So what I meant by saying when you guys don't wanna tear it off, you don't wanna go this way. This isn't what you wanna do. You want to lift the product off the paint. So by lifting it, we're putting a lot less pressure on the paint itself. 
All right, guys, for the moment of truth, let me zoom you in on that corner. You guys get a kick out of that. Let's see. Oh, man. Yeah. There we go. Let's see if the proof rod did its work. Oh. Okay. So we still got some clear rod left behind. But guys, I think it did the job. This is just clear bar residue. So when we clay bar the car, we'll get that all taken off. Looks like the paint's all intact, so thumbs up for clear bra. All right guys, next up is gonna be the hood. So like I said, I like to get it all nice and warmed up. Get these edges nice, nice and loose. Alright guys, now, now it's time for the front bumper. I'm going to start on this bumper. I'm going to start right here and work my way this way. So, let's get to it. And I did change the nozzle on the steamer. I was losing pressure. When I do PPF, I like it like this. So I like it to be more free flow. And when we're moving, because we have the steamer going for so long, this one does work better and keeps a consistent flow of steam. So, and then if you got a steamer, make sure you use that lock trigger when you're removing because steaming for days over here. See this area where it's all damaged. See if it protected the paint. Let's find out. Looks like it protected the paint. This is just leftover residue right here. Once we clay bar the car, this will all be taken care of. So clear bra, two for two on protection.
so we just got done removing the clear bra. I hope this helped you guys if you're going to be removing clear bra or if you've been thinking about installing clear bra or having a shop install clear bra. It does a great job to protecting your paint from the UV, rock chips, you know, getting hit. Something happened here clearly and the paint's still fine. So if you didn't have a paint protection film on that area, it would have been annihilated. On this film right here, you can see it is getting a little discolored. It is dirty, by the way, but it is getting a little discolored. Let's hope you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. This is Mark with M2M Detail. Mark out.